So what I'll do is I'll shoot a video and let you guys see what I'm doing. So you have the measurements, right? So you go up and you measure the window, what you want your metal to be. So that first half is my hem, and then two and three quarters is the distance out, and then one and three quarters over, and then five eighths uh, to the siding. So there's my measurement, right? So I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna try to set it up over here. What I do is I take a ruler, right? This is the easiest way to do it instead of trying to do the math in your head with a tape measure. I'll mark half inch. And then from that half inch mark, I'll go to two and three quarters. I'll make another mark. And then another mark, whatever my next measurement is and so on. So then what I do with the caddy shack and with this whole setup, the way this works, is that you have your cutter, right? Well, it cuts an inch and a half back. So when you feed, this has a ruler right here. So when you feed the metal into here, if it says 71, you're gonna cut it to 69 and a half. You're gonna go back an inch and a half. So what you do then, say, say this is my last mark right here, right? So you measure up one and nine sixteenths. Okay, and then you make another mark, and then when you put this in here, right, and you clamp it down, you're gonna clamp it down right where that metal, right where that metal is, right on the line, and that way your cutter, because your cutter right here, this little four hundred dollar thing that goes on the Tapco device, this cuts an inch and nine sixteenths back from where you're supposed to be at. So you just gotta remember that, and you gotta do that. Um, either forward or back if you're going to use that to cut the metal so i guess that's a pretty good two minute little video just kind of showing you what you're supposed to do so you measure you take again so you're going to take those measurements you're going to transfer them onto the metal and then you're going to cut the metal you're going to have like a little strip of metal like i have up here here's a bunch of pieces right that were maybe just a little too short or i don't need them yet and then you're going to feed it into your brake and then you're gonna that remember that half inch mark well that was for the hem that way i have a nice str strong piece right there when i feed it into the window and then you're gonna make your little shape whatever your shape's supposed to be so that's all you're supposed to bend metal um that's just a quick tutorial on what to do i hope you like this video i hope it helps you uh start your business start your career uh get into metal bending whatever it is but I'm, I'm dave with energy windows i own my own window company and learn how to work this break was one of the best things i ever did for myself so good luck and i hope you do well thank you